have more breaking news for you tonight. Right now, three people are recovering after their, their plane went down near the Lake of the Ozarks. The State Highway Patrol responded to the scene about 12.30 this afternoon near Public Beach Number 2. That's near the Glen Gray's, Grand Glaze Bridge. ABC 17's Lucas Geisler is live now near the scene, and Lucas, crews are struggling to get the plane out of the water still. Yeah, after a few hours, they finally have it out of the lake. Now, let me just step out of the way and show you the good stuff here. They have just removed, uh, Finley and Sons had just gotten this, the 1976 Beechcraft out of the lake here. Now they are hooking it up and tow it and putting it on a tow truck to head it out. Now, around 1230, the, the State Highway Patrol tells us around 1230 today, they, that's when they received a 911 call about the plane falling in the lake. We're here at Glen, Grand Glaze State Park. They said that the plane went down in the lake. Three people inside the plane. We know that the pilot, there was a pilot, his mother, and his daughter were in the plane. Those three are all, all made it out of the plane. Only the pilot's mother and daughter actually went to the hospital with minor injuries. We know that they were leaving the Grand Glaze Airport and heading to Creve Corps, which is near St. Louis. But sometime around 1230, that's when the plane went down here in the lake. Now, we're not really sure what caused the plane to go down. The FAA is investigating that cause. Now, as you mentioned, though, Dana and Daniel, they did struggle to get this out of the lake for a second. They had it hooked one time, and that's when something snapped off of the plane, and the plane went back down into the lake. However, just an hour later, they were able to tie it around the tail of the plane, pull it out, and get it back on the dock here. Reporting live here in lake, at the Lake of the Ozarks, Lucas Geisler, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Lucas. We'll continue to bring you the latest on this crash here on ABC 17 News, as well as on our Twitter page, Facebook, and ABC17news.com.